Hello guys, welcome back once again to my YouTube channel on Transmission Line. In this series we will cover the following topics in each separate video. Earlier we viewed the video on cable support installation and cable drum unloading, and this video will cover the topic on cable pulling inside substation. Our pulling area can be viewed into three sections. Inside the trench. Inside the duct bank. Inside the GIS basement. Mechanical stresses during installation of cable are generally more severe than those encountered while in service. Suitable protection shall be provided to the cables against mechanical damages, so in order to ensure the same, here are certain prerequisites for cable pulling. The cable path, trench and GIS basement, to be checked thoroughly to avoid any hindrance during pulling. Wooden plank and cable roller are to be adequately braced with cable support structure to withstand the tensions and side pressure that will be encountered during the cable pull. The roller should be free moving and should not have any sharpness. Sufficient sandbag to place wherever required to provide cushion to cable and support. V roller and conveyor to be used near the release point of cable, drum point. PVC pipes to be fixed above cable support structure to avoid any mechanical damages. slowly placed above the conveyor. The function of conveyor is to keep the cable in straight path and thus avoid touching of cable to external wall or surfaces. The cable eye is tied with cable wire with an articulated joint. The function of articulated joint is to avoid twisting of cable during pulling. means of audio communication between the drum side and the winch side shall be provided, such as walkie-talkie, portable telephone, etc. Once the cable head reaches the duct back, the cable wire needs to be detached and temporary guying rope to be fixed on cable head. The cable wire to be extended further and fastened with web sling in the middle. Bending of power cable at a short radius may damage the insulation, shielding or jacket of the cable, therefore, during cable installations, 
care must be taken that no sharp bends or sharp twists are made. Whenever a bend in the route is encountered, care shall be taken to ensure that rollers are properly positioned so that the bending radius of the cable is always more than the minimum allowable bending radius. Prior to cable pulling into ducts, the duct must be cleaned with suitable brushes. The duct should be straight and free from any hindrance. Cable grease to be applied on the surface of cable to reduce the friction inside duct. Slowly the cable is pulled inside the trench and the cable is manually pulled inside the GIS basement. Once the cable pulling is done the cable is cut with reciprocating saw cutter. With proper lifting arrangement the cable is pulled through the outdoor duct and raised up to desired length for outdoor termination. Similar steps to be followed for other two phases.
Once all the three cables are pulled in one circuit, the cable clamps are to be fixed in critical points to keep the cable in position. Similar arrangement is done for the other circuit as well. The cable surfaces are cleaned to apply the fire retardant paint. Two coats of fire retardant paint is applied on the cable to reduce the spread of flames in the event of fire. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video please like, subscribe and share. In upcoming video, we will see cable sheath test, outdoor and indoor termination, link box and surge arrester installation.